Wherever you are in the world, welcome to Tuesday Tips Live from the Digital DJ Tips headquarters. And it's a really special one today because believe it or not, it's the last one of the year for us. The next two being Christmas Day and New Year's Day. We thought we'd give ourselves and you a little bit of a break. And so this is the last one for 2018. So quite fittingly, we thought we'd talk about our DJing goals for 2019 in today's Tuesday Tips Live. So wherever you're watching us, whether you're on Facebook, whether you're on YouTube, uh, and whether you're watching this live or on the replay, it's great to have you here. I wanna ask you to do a couple of things in the next few minutes that'll help you in your DJing in 2019. So hang around, be ready to do that. Firstly though, I wanna do the usual stuff. We're gonna check we're live, and I'm gonna do some very early hellos to people who are tuning in live with us here. So, firstly then, he says, checking the technology. There you go, we're live. We're getting good at this. <laughs> a few very early hellos on Facebook. Hi to Broomy and Ravi, uh, to Ricky, uh, hi to my team. Hello to Willie and Roni, good to have you here, Roni as ever. Uh, and uh, hello to Alan in wet and windy Cornwall in the UK. Uh, feel free to tell me where you are today. So if you're new to all of this, I'm Phil Morse. I'm the uh, owner and founder of Digital DJ Tips. More importantly, I am a DJ tutor. We have taught over 19,000 students in the last eight years at Digital DJ Tips how to be better DJs and better DJ producers. And we do this Tuesday Tips Live as part of what we do. We have DJ courses, we have the website, we have the book, which I, I normally have a copy here to show you. In fact, I have. It's one of the one of the best-selling books on Amazon about how to DJ, rock the dance floor. So all this stuff we do because our mission is to make you better DJs and better producers. So hang around. We'll hopefully help you get a bit closer to your DJing and DJ producer goals in the next few minutes. If you're an existing member of Digital DJ Tips, subscriber, viewer, thank you very much for being here. It's great to have you here. And if you're watching on the replay, well, you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button. If you're on YouTube, hit the bell as well. And that means we can let you know when these things go live. And you can watch it all happen as it's literally uh, going up that microphone, through those cameras and out to the world. Because if things go wrong, you get to see them as they go wrong. I mean, that's what live's all about, right? Now, hopefully not much will go wrong, uh, but you never know. Okay, so we are talking about setting DJ goals and we're talking about five tips from my time and my tutor's time from Joey and Steve and our other tutors. Our tips, the things that help our students achieve their goals. We're gonna share five of them with you here today. So all the way through today's broadcast, and even if you're watching on the replay, please tell us in the comments below what your DJing goal is, what your DJing and production goal is for 2019. What do you want to achieve in 2019? If you're not sure, well, that's absolutely fine because by the end of this, hopefully you will be sure. So by the end of this, share it with us. Uh, but if you know already, then hey, let us know underneath and we will, um, you know, it's part of the process is to kind of go public about this, which we're, we're going to talk about. So do feel free to, and I'll read out some DJing goals uh, from our audience as well. So just before we get started, I just head over to YouTube and say hello to a few of our YouTube subscribers as well. And then we'll get started with our five things uh, that you can do to improve your chances of achieving your DJing goal, your DJing production goal, whatever it is uh, that you want to achieve in 2019, we'll try and help you. So hello to Arnold Lamas, uh, hello to Alkabob over on uh, over on YouTube, hello to Darren who's in Perth, Australia, good to have you here, hi to Roik and La Antalian who is uh, tuning in as well, to Spinning Records in Belagavi, uh, to Victor Mark, to uh, G30 Jack Kushagra, who says it's 8.30 in the night time over here in India. Uh, we're heading out to Thailand on Friday, can't wait. Um, so hi to John, who is uh, in New York City. Hi to Martin and uh, everyone else tuning in over there on YouTube. Wherever you're watching this, great to have you here. Right, five things that you can do to make your DJing and DJ production goals more likely to happen in 2019. And number one is to pick the right goal. So you wanna pick something that's achievable, but that has got a, a bit of risk attached, and there's got a chance of going wrong, right? If you pick something that's just so simple, like you might pick, uh, you might just bought a controller, right? You've got your brand new controller, and your goal might be, I'm gonna to learn to mix one track into another track on this controller, and that's it. Yeah, okay, you can do that, right? You could probably do that by the end of this week, even if you're a total beginner. It's not something that there's a risk of failure. 
So a risk of failure means a risk of kind of making a bit of a fool of yourself, a risk of kind of like having to backtrack and say, whoops, I messed up there. That's what I mean by risk of failure. If you can pick something that has got a slight risk of going wrong, that means you'll be stretching yourself to achieve it. But at the same time, you don't want to pick something that's so ambitious that there's just no way you're going to achieve it. So the opposite of saying I'm going to learn to mix one track into another would be I'm going to, I'm going to headline, um, you know, Tomorrowland or something, right? So the chances of you being able to do that, and please prove me wrong, I'd love you to, are pretty slim by the end of 2019. So therefore, you're going to get disillusioned. You're going to realise that you set a goal that was too ambitious. So setting a goal that's somewhere between kind of boring and obvious, and yeah, anyone can do that, and impossible, is the right way to go. Uh, and that means that you will feel uncomfortable, that you will have to do some work, that you will um, have this horrible knot in your tummy that says, I'm going to mess this up, I'm going to mess this up. But all of those things mean that you're growing and that you're actually getting somewhere where you wouldn't get if you'd set something a little bit less ambitious. So what I'm asking you to do is underneath in the comments, on YouTube, on Facebook, wherever you're watching, tell us what your DJ goal is for 2019. And if you're inventing it on the spot, that's brilliant. But make sure it's something that's just big enough to stretch you a bit and that's not so big that you're not going to be able to achieve it. So point number one in our five tips for achieving DJ success, getting to your goals next year is pick something achievable but with a chance of failure. Now, before we go any further, you might say, Phil, why are you telling me this on the 17th, 18th, whatever it is of December? Why are you telling me this? Uh, why aren't you doing it on the 1st of January? So only losers set their goals on the 1st of January. Just an extra little tip for you here. Because by then, you, you already started, the year started. Much, much better to set your goal now, think about it and do all the things I'm about to talk about. So when the 1st of January hits, when that New Year's resolution time hits, you're ready to go, you're out the blocks. Winners are already out the blocks on the 1st of January. Don't, don't wait until that hangover after New Year's Eve to start thinking, oh, I better plan something for the new year. Plan it now, trust me, it's the best way of doing it. Winners plan early. All right then, so we're talking about setting five DJing goals and I'm really, really excited to see what people are saying. So I'm going to go and head over to uh, our socials and just have a little look at some of the goals that you might be sharing with us uh, already uh, for those of you who are brave enough to be telling us stuff live. Uh, so um, uh, gigs and a club residency, says Renz. Okay, so why don't you make it a little bit more specific rents how many gigs where what club do you want the residency in the more specific you make it the more it, likely you are to achieve it or to know when you've achieved it um so i want to get an official international booking says bjorn i love that um, by this time next year i want to have four songs released that is brilliant four songs released and one international booking so that is specific it's achievable but there's a lot to do there you know you might only end up with three songs released so you set yourself goals that you think you can achieve but are going to push you i love that so wes says i want to achieve more better profitable private gigs so i can officially retire from the bar scene right okay how many gigs do you need to retire from the bar scene put a number on it and also put on that um uh, uh yeah just a number would be enough you know do the sums because then you know what you're aiming at there so tim says i would like to start doing live remixes in my sets in 2019 awesome so tim uh when do you want to start doing your live remixes by in 2019 how many per set just try and tighten it up a little bit uh, but awesome nice to hear that um okay a few of you saying you're getting mic noise loud crackling and interference somewhere let me just see if i can sort that out uh i don't think i can we were having it earlier, but we fixed it. If it's going to be bad, so bad, then uh, then tell me, and I will, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll just turn this one down a little bit. We thought we'd fixed that. If you're still getting mic noise in a bit, please, people, please tell me. Um, so I'm going to get my record label set up and running and hold an open air event and get tracks signed, uh, says Matt. So that's awesome. One record label up and running, one open air event and one track signed. Uh, I love that. Um, so... Um, Please keep telling me, hairy chest against the mic. The mic's up there, actually. <laughs> so it's not hairy chest against the mic. Uh, is the mic getting any better, people? Please tell me. Um, I'm watching your live comments on Facebook at the moment. So anyone commenting on Facebook, uh, I will see it instantly. Um, mic sounds disturbing, says people. Uh, oh, that's not so good. Uh, what I might try and do is just go and dig out another mic and put it live. I wonder if I can do that, he says, looking at his other mics. I'm not sure. Uh, so... Um, Keep telling me if it gets worse then i will i will stop um so a lot of you are saying that it's uh, it is sounding really bad should i go and dig out the other mic shall we try and do this live you see i told you that things can go wrong live let's have a go at digging out my spare mic the trouble with the spare mic is if you can still hear me this one's all crackly as well 
That's the reason we don't use it. So, uh, so I'm not sure if that can be fixed. Here, let's have a go. I'm off camera now, but I'm doing some amazing things with a spare microphone. I'll just pop it on and see if we can get it right. So if you're just joining us and you can only hear me, but you can't see me, I'm just sorting out a microphone issue. Uh, and we are doing something about the uh, DJ goal setting for 2018. Uh, Okay, I'm on a different mic now. Turned off the other one. I told you it's worth tuning in live, people. The trouble with this microphone is it's been picking up as well. So tell me if this is any better, people. Uh, we should be at least audible now. Tell me if you can hear me better. Bad cable, says someone. Awesome, says, Dig says, says my team. Much better, says Rico. So it looks like we might have that uh, sorted out. Uh, right, well, there you go. Watch live and you get all the mess ups as well. Uh, do let me know if that sound continues to be dodgy, please, people, and we'll see if we can fix it further. But it looks like we've uh, at least fixed it for the time being. Uh, okay, so back to what we were talking about. You were telling me your goals. That's awesome. I can't, I'll read a few more of them out in a minute. But we'll move on to number two now in our five tips for setting DJ goals for 2019. And number two is really simple. We've just seen a few examples of it there. Set yourself a deadline. Now, 2019 suggests 31st of December, right? But it might be that your goal is to play a summer festival or your goal is to get three gigs a quarter or your goal is to, within the first two months, have learned to scratch. So set yourself a deadline. And if you've got a goal which has got obvious milestones, then they can be individual deadlines. But putting a deadline and a specific goal, that's what makes it a real goal because either or is not quite enough. I want to get two gigs, well, well when by? Or I want, to, um, I want to start playing in bars by the end of the year? Yeah, but how many bars? So putting a number and a deadline on it makes it more specific, makes it more achievable, makes it easier to tick off. Uh, so um, so uh, that's number two. So now let's head over to YouTube and I wanna just give a few shout outs to people sharing their goals over there. Uh, and uh, I want to make a top 10 in spinning records talent pool, says uh, Le Antilan. So that's really good, you know, where you want your top 10 uh, to be achieved and uh, you, you know, you said you wanna make one. I want to play to an audience, whether that be just family or friends or anyone else who's willing to listen, says Martin. Well, look, there's a nice basic goal there, Martin, and I think it's, uh, it's, it's achievable. Do you want to go any further than that? Do you want to maybe play in public? Could you add the word public to make it a little bit more scary for you rather than just family and friends? So just maybe firm it up a bit and add a bit more ambition there. Um, I want to get back into a residency, residency says Charith. Uh, so back into a single residency, awesome. You know, one residency, you're going to know if you've achieved it. When by? Is it going to be a summer residency? Is it going to be by the end of the year? You're going to spend all year working up to it. So add a deadline into that one. Uh, okay, so... Let's move on now to our third goal. And our third goal is something else that we've learned here at Digital DJ Tips. And I'll give you an example. I'm making a course at the moment called the Complete DJ Course. It is huge. It's a replacement course for our Digital DJ Masterclass, which has been our biggest course over the years. But times move on. We, we wanted to make a big new flagship DJ course. Now, you can imagine the size of a course like that. It's literally months of planning and then months of filming. So if I just said, oh, I'm going to make the new DJ course by the 1st of April, you know, that's scary, right? So what I did was break it down into modules, break it down into lessons and broke it down into learning points within the lessons. Now I've got a plan. Now I've got things I can tick off. Now I've got progress I can see myself making. So it's exactly the same with your DJing goal. If you want to get a residency, then you need to break that down into the things, the steps you need to take to get a residency. I need to get to know 80% of people promoting in my town. I need to know by name uh, five bar managers. I need to have already played three bar gigs in bars that are owned by the same company that own the two clubs in my town. I need to know, uh, I need to make sure that I've got a, an email reply saying that they have received my mixtape from six promoters. I, you know, whatever it is that you want to do, I need to make that mixtape. I need to uh, have built my record collection up to 500 tunes that I think is enough to cover uh, the first night of a residency or whatever. Once you've broken it down into your little steps, then they're going to be more achievable, then you can tick them off, then you can see yourself moving towards your goal. Really, really important that, to break things down into little steps and then break them down further and further and further until you've literally got a list where you don't have to think about it. You just do the things in the order that you've made. There's a difference between planning and executing and it's best not to mix them up. Do all your planning 
and then executing, you're just going through your list, making sure that you've done that one, then that one, then that one, then that one. And that way you get to your goals without worrying about what to do next and whether you're doing the right thing and whether you're actually making any progress at all. So break things down into small parts is our number two on our list of things to do to make sure you achieve your DJing goal in 2019. Now let's head over to Facebook and I'd like to have a look and see what people are sharing over there uh, as their goals. So I live in a small city, says Christopher, so I want to be the DJ they call to open for entertainers when they come. Uh, so what? So in that case, how many gigs will prove that you've done that by the end of the, of the next year, uh, Christopher? Maybe you want to have opened for three entertainers. Um, or do the entertainers, do, do, you know, do the acts come to your town in summer? In which case, do you want to be doing it by the 1st of June or the 1st of July? That's an awesome one. Um, so um, I love waking up to you, says Dennis. I'll take that the right way, Dennis. Um, book a gig. Uh, it focuses the mind. My team are giving uh, advice out to you lot live here as well. Um, okay, so I want to start learning to remix, but it's a larger financial investment than I can do, says Chris. Well, actually, uh, if you keep an eye on Digital DJ Tips, I literally proofread today a brand new guide about how to get started for really very little in production. So look out for that, uh, Chris. Um, so, okay, um, right, now let's move on then to number three. Uh, so well, we've just done number three, actually. If you've just joined us, we're talking about five ways to improve your chances of hitting your DJing goals in 2019. And I'm reading them out on Facebook and on YouTube so if you're on either channel do let us know so we've already covered picking something achievable but with some risk risk is always good uh, number two is set a deadline make sure that you've got a definite date when you want to have achieved this by it could be the end of the year but it could be summer it could be by the spring or whatever put a deadline on it those two things make a really good goal so number three once you set your goal break it into little parts so that it's easy to achieve them and you're not worrying about what to do next you're just doing it right uh, so number four it's another one that people forget, which is schedule your work. Now, work is by nature scheduled. You know when you've got to go to work, right? You know when your shifts are, you know what time you're meant to be there. So scheduling is really important for everything in life, including your most precious, precious and you know the things that matter to you, the goals, the things that have nothing to do with that horrible job you don't like, the things that actually matter to you. If you are prepared to follow someone else's schedule for the job that they've given you, then for God's sake, put a schedule around the things that really matter to you, like your DJing, like your music production, whatever it is that you want to achieve in this. So scheduling is simply saying, look, this is the amount of time I think I'm going to need, and this is where I'm going to put it into my, into my calendar or into my diary for us Europeans. And that does a couple of things for you. It proves you're serious. It shows your family and your friends that you're serious because they, they know your schedule, right? And you can say, well, no, it's, I'm doing this then. Um, and it forces you to look at how you're spending your time because you can't make time. There's 24 hours in a day. You can only take it from other things. So looking at your schedule, opening your calendar and saying, okay, let's just lay in here all my commitments. You're going to maybe have to give something up Maybe give up, a, give up the game or give up going to the pub with your friends or whatever. But whatever, give up Facebook, there's a good one. Uh, but whatever it is you're giving up, you know, or saying, no, I'm going to spend half an hour a week on that or whatever, suddenly you're, you're dividing your time up more fruitfully and you're not just like leaving your time open to sit there on Instagram and Facebook for a whole night and say, oh, where did that go? Putting it in your diary means you're more likely to do it. And of course, that also means if you're using an electronic, like an iPad or an iPhone or whatever, you can have it beep you or buzz your watch and tell you it's time to practice now or whatever it is. So scheduling is a really important part of all of this. So let's head back to, uh, let's head back to uh, Facebook for a second uh, and see what you're saying about this. Please do share your goals for 2019. What is it you want to achieve in your DJing? I'll read as many out as I can. Um, so um, uh, you guys are life changing, says Dennis. I'm forever grateful for digital DJ tips. Oh, thank you. Um, so... Um, few of you saying, got to get back, but loving this. Um, so, um, um, uh, I just quit my job yesterday. Uh, I worked for DHL. Now I'm going balls to the wall. That's awesome. Thanks again there, there Dennis. Um, all right then. Uh, so, more goals, more people sharing their goals. Um, just scrolling up to find some that we haven't looked at yet. Oh, it's awesome to see Amanda saying, I would love to DJ at my local bar by the summer and release two remixes by August. So, that's really cool, Amanda. By the summer... Um, you know, maybe set a time, 1st of August or whatever. Maybe you want to do the whole lot by August. That'd be cool. Uh, get the business side of my company set up. Cards, social media, etc. says Sean. So obviously you can put a bit more meat on the bones there, Sean. But that's a good thing, the business side of your business. Um, okay, so let's move on to number four. Uh, sorry, four was schedule the work. So number five, uh, review your progress regularly. 
So this is really important. We do it at Digital DJ Tips. Every three months we have a stop and we all get in a room and say, how are we doing? How are we doing on our goals? Three months is a really good time. 90 days is long enough to get meaningful stuff done, but not so long that you just, it just drags on and on and on. So reviewing regularly what you're doing is important because it might be that you get to your goals quicker than you thought. And you're like, awesome, I'm already playing that, re that residency. Well, it'd be a shame just to leave it there, wouldn't it? and leave the rest of the nine months just kind of like, oh, I got where I wanted to go. So you might want to expand your goals. Or if it turns out your goal is harder to achieve, but you, you realise that, then you might want to pull it back in again. Or it might be that, you know, the goalposts have changed, if you pardon the pun. Uh, the goalposts have changed. Actually, you don't want the club residency anymore. You want to produce a tune. That's cool. You've realised that. So change things up. Make it so that you're reacting to the changing circumstances in your own head or outside. You know, other opportunities might have come up that you didn't know were going to come up. It's one thing that happens when you get onto the field of play. Stuff appears that you didn't know was going to happen. And quite often it's in your favour. So reviewing it every few months is really important as well. Okay, so there's just one other thing I want to share here, which isn't one of our five, but it's something that I'm really bad at and I want you to try and be better at than me. And that is this. Please try and congratulate yourself along the way for all your little wins. If you finally finish your mixtape, okay, you haven't got that gig you wanted, but hey, you finished your mixtape. Congratulate, congratulate yourself for it. If you get a really horrible bunch of jobs that you didn't want to do in your DJing done, you know, setting up your invoicing for, you know, for getting paid at gigs or whatever, and it's just tedious, and uh, you know, congratulate yourself when you've done it. Just because you don't think you've achieved the big goal, it doesn't mean you can't pat yourself on the back for all the little things. Uh, and quite often you're the only person who's going to do that. So just be a bit kind on yourself along the journey. As I say, I'm really bad at that. Now, the one thing I do want you all to do uh, is share your goals underneath on Facebook, on YouTube. I'm going to head over to YouTube now and see if we've got any more goals to share there. If you share your goals here, you are making it more likely that you're going to achieve them. Why? Because doing this stuff in public commits you to it. You're accountable. Suddenly you've said somewhere that you're going to do whatever it is you're going to do. And that just kind of makes it a lot more likely that you're going to, you're going to achieve that. So take the time to say in public that you're going to do stuff. As I say, you can do it underneath this broadcast, but also if you're one of our students, heading over into the Student Hub, which is our private Facebook group for our students, is a great place to do that because it's a friendly and supportive place and we're just going to be with you all the way, right? You know, you're going to have friends there helping you and rooting for you. So head over to Student Hub if you're one of our students uh, and do it there. Um, so, um, so uh, you know what, my team are doing so well down here taking care of everyone, uh, chatting away. So uh, there's not many people I need to, need to read out here, but I will read a couple out. Um, I want to um, get my tracks released and try and get at least two gigs, says Kushagra, which is awesome. Um, now, Jabulo says, I'm just so grateful to subscribe to your channel. It's awesome. Thank you very much for that. Um, and uh, just some general chat going on down there. Uh, Michael says, marketing, 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 marketing and playing out once a week. Well, there's your goal to play out once a week and your marketing is what's going to help you get there, right, Michael? Um, and Steve says, my goal is to get back into wedding DJing and releasing podcasts regularly of fresh, hot new tracks I discover. How regularly? Every week, every month? Uh, and how many weddings? Put some numbers on that uh, and that's going to make it easier for you to achieve it. Uh, okay, so uh, I'm going to end it there because I know we're having a few clicks and bumps on our sound, uh, but I just want to say to everyone, if you do want to have a chance of winning $17,500 worth of prizes in our prize draw, uh, you can head over to digital DJ tips, uh, djtips.co slash 2019. I was trying to put it on the screen, but it's not playing ball. djtips.co slash 2019. Head there and you can take our digital DJ census, which is our barometer of the industry. Uh, the results of that census tell the industry where DJing is going uh, and we share it with all the big companies so you can get your voice heard just by taking that census. It only takes 10 minutes and as a thank you, we'll enter you into our prize draw. So djtips.co slash 2019, the top prize is a Nexus 2 system from Pioneer worth thousands and thousands and thousands. And there's awesome prizes from Denon and Newmark and Tractor uh, and lots of other brands as well. So head over there, djtips.co slash 2019, share your DJing goals underneath. If you're watching this on the replay, you can still do it, we'll still react to them share your DJ and goals underneath. There's a lot more stuff between now and the new year coming on Digital DJ Tips to help you achieve your DJ and goals. Uh, Joey and the, and the content team have got some awesome stuff uh, lined up for you. So do keep an eye on the website as well. And have a really, really great holiday. Great Christmas and new year, wherever you are. I'll see you on the other side in 2019. Until then, get good, get out there, make the moments. Laters. <laughs>